Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe Marie. Welcome if you're new. If this is your first time coming across my videos, I read the Bible on my channel and I would love for you to join the journey with me of reading the entire Bible from beginning to end. I'm currently reading the NIV version of the Bible. Everything is listed down below. So please subscribe and join me in reading the Bible. I'd love to have you. This is the first video in the book of Numbers. We have currently read through Genesis, Exodus, and Leviticus. So let's get into it. Numbers chapter 1 the census and the bible reads the lord spoke to moses in the tent of meeting in the desert of sinai on the first day of the second month of the second year after the israelites came out of egypt he said take a census of the whole israelite community by their clans and families listing every man by name one by one you and aaron are to count according to their divisions all the men in israel who are 20 years old or more and able to serve in the army one man from each tribe each of them the head of his family is to help you these are the names of the men who are to assist you. From Reuben, Eleazar, son of Shadur. From Simeon, Shechomiel, son of Zerishadai. From Judah, Nashon, son of Aminadab. From Issachar, Nathaniel, son of Zor. From Zebulun, Eliab, son of Helon. From the sons of Joseph. From Ephraim, Elishama, son of Amihud. From Manasseh, Gamaliel, son of Pedazu. From Benjamin, Abidan, son of Gideon. From Dan, Ahizer, son of Amishadai. From Asher, Pagiel, son of Okran. From Gad, Eliasaf, son of Duol. From Naphtali, Ira, son of Enan. These are the men appointed from the community, the leaders of their ancestral tribes. They were the heads of the clans of Israel. Moses and Aaron took these men whose names have been specified, and they called the whole community together on the first day of the second month. The people registered their ancestry by their clans and families, and the men 20 years old or more were listed by name, one by one, as the Lord commanded Moses. And so he counted them in the desert of Sinai. From the descendants of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name one by one according to the records of their clans and families the number from the tribe of reuben was forty six thousand five hundred from the descendants of simeon all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were counted and listed by name one by one according to the records of their clans and families the number from the tribe of simeon was fifty nine thousand three hundred from the descendants of gad all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Gad was 45,650. From the descendants of Judah, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Judah was 74,600. From the descendants of Issachar, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans clans and families. The number from the tribe of Issachar was 54,400. From the descendants of Zebulun, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name, according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Zebulun was 57,400. From the sons of Joseph, from the descendants of Ephraim, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name, according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Ephraim was 40,500. From the descendants of Manasseh, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name, according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Manasseh was 32,200. From the descendants of Benjamin, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Benjamin was 35,400. 
from the descendants of Dan. All the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name, according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Dan was 62,700. From the descendants of Asher, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name, according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Asher was 41,500. From the descendants of Naphtali, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name, according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Naphtali was 53,400. These were the men counted by Moses and Aaron and the 12 leaders of Israel, each one representing his family. All the Israelites 20 years old or more who were able to serve in Israel's army were counted according to their families. The total number was 603,550. The ancestral tribe of the Levites, however, was not counted along with the others. The Lord had said to Moses, You must not count the tribe of Levi or include them in the census of the other Israelites. Instead, appoint the Levites to be in charge of the tabernacle of the covenant law over all its furnishings and everything belonging to it. They are to carry the tabernacle and all its furnishings. They are to take care of it and encamp around it. Whenever the tabernacle is to move, the Levites are to take it down. And whenever the tabernacle is to be set up, the Levites shall do it. Anyone else who approaches it is to be put to death. The Israelites are to set up their tents by division, each of them in their own camp under their standard. The Levites, however, are to set up their camps around the tabernacle of the covenant law, so that my wrath will not fall on the Israelite community. The Levites are to be responsible for the care of the tabernacle of the covenant law. The Israelites did all this just as the Lord commanded Moses. Numbers chapter 2, the arrangement of the tribal camps. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, The Israelites are to camp around the tent of meeting some distance from it, each of them under their standard and holding the banners of their family. On the east toward the sunrise, the division of the camp of Judah are to encamp under their standard. The leader of the people of Judah is Nashon, son of Aminadab. His division numbers 74,600. The tribe of Issachar will camp next to them. The leader of the people of Issachar is Nathaniel, son of Sur. His division numbers 54,400. The tribe of Zebulun will be next. The leader of the people of Zebulun is Eliab, son of Helon. His division numbers 57,400. All the men assigned to the camp of Judah according to their divisions number 186,400. They will set out first. On the south will be the division of the camp of Reuben, under their standard. The leader of the people of Reuben is Eliezer, son of Shadur. His division numbers 46,500. The tribe of Simeon will camp next to them. The leader of the people of Simeon is Shagoshmio, son of Suri Shaddai. His division numbers 59,300. The tribe of Gad will be next. The leader of the people of Gad is Eliasaf, son of Duel. His division numbers 45,650. All the men assigned to the camp of Reuben according to their divisions number 151,450. They will set out second. Then the tent of meeting and the camp of the Levites will set out in the middle of the camps. They will set out in the same order as they encamp, each in their own place under their standard. On the west will be the divisions of the camp of Ephraim under their standard. The leader of the people of Ephraim is Elishama, son of Amihud. His division numbers 40,500. The tribe of Manasseh will be next to them. The leader of the people of Manasseh is Gamaliel, son of Petazu. His Division numbers 32,200. The tribe of Benjamin will be next. The leader of the people of Benjamin is Abidan, son of Gideon. His division numbers 35,400. All the men assigned to the camp of Ephraim, according to their divisions, number 108,100. They will set out third. On the north will be the divisions of the camp of Dan, under their standard. 
The leader of the people of Dan is Ahiezer, son of Amishadai. His division numbers 62,700. The tribe of Asher will camp next to them. The leader of the people of Asher is Pagiel, son of Okran. His division numbers 41,500. The tribe of Naphtali will be next. The leader of the people of Naphtali is Ahira, son of Enan. His division numbers 53,400. All the men assigned to the camp of Dan number 150. 57,600. They will set out last under their standards. These are the Israelites counted according to their families. All the men in the camps by their division number 603,550. The Levites, however, were not counted along with the other Israelites, as the Lord commanded Moses. So the Israelites did everything the Lord commanded Moses. That is the way they encamped under their standards, and that is the way they set out each of them with their clan and family. Numbers chapter 3, The Levites This is the account of the family of Aaron and Moses at the time the Lord spoke to Moses at Mount Sinai. The names of the sons of Aaron were Nadab the firstborn and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. Those were the names of Aaron's sons, the anointed priests, who were ordained to serve as priests. Nadab and Abihu, however, died before the Lord when they made an offering with unauthorized fire before him in the desert of Sinai. They had no sons, so Eleazar and Ithamar served as priests during the lifetime of their father Aaron. The Lord said to Moses, Bring the tribe of Levi and present them to Aaron the priest to assist him. They are to perform duties for him and for the whole community at the tent of meeting by doing the work of the tabernacle. They are to take care of all the furnishings of the tent of meeting, fulfilling the obligations of the Israelites by doing the work of the tabernacle. Give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They are the Israelites who are to be given wholly to him. Appoint Aaron and his sons to serve as priests. Anyone else who approaches the sanctuary is to be put to death. The Lord also said to Moses, I have taken the Levites from among the Israelites in place of the first male offspring of every Israelite woman. The Levites are mine, for all the firstborn are mine. When I struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, I set apart for myself every firstborn in Israel, whether human or animal. They are to be mine. I am the Lord. The Lord said to Moses in the desert of Sinai, Count the Levites by their families and clans. Count every male a month old or more. So Moses counted them, as he was commanded by the word of the Lord. These were the names of the son of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. These were the names of the Gershonite clans, Libni and Shimei, the Kohatite clans, Amram, Ishar, Hebron, and Uziel, the Merarite clans, Mahali, and Mushai. These were the Levite clans, according to their families. To Gershon belonged the clans of Libnites and Shimeites. These were the Gershonite clans. The number of all the males a month old or more who were counted was 7,500. The Gershonite clans were to camp on the west, behind the tabernacle. The leader of the families of the Gershonites was Eliasaf, son of Leo. At the tent of meeting, the Gershonites were responsible for the care of the tabernacle and tent its coverings, the curtain at the entrance to the tent of meeting, the curtain of the courtyard, the curtain at the entrance to the courtyard surrounding the tabernacle and altar, and the ropes, and everything related to their use. To Kohath belonged the clans of the Amorites, Izzarites, Hebronites, and Uzielites. These were the Kohatite clans. The number of all the males a month old or more was 8,600. The Kohatites were responsible for the care of the sanctuary. The Kohatite clans were to camp on the south side of the tabernacle. The leader of the families of the Kohatite clans was Elisaphan, son of Uziel. They were responsible for the care of the ark, the table, the lampstand, the altars, the articles of the sanctuary used in ministering, the curtain, and everything related to their use. The chief leader of the level was Eliezer, son of Aaron, the priest. He was appointed over those who were responsible for the care of the sanctuary. To Merari belonged the clans of the Malites and the Mushites. These were the Merari clans. The number of all the males a month old or more who were counted was 6,200. The leader of the families of the Merari clans was Zuriel, son of Abihail. 
they were to camp on the north side of the tabernacle. The Merarites were appointed to take care of the frames of the tabernacle, its crossbar, posts, bases, all its equipment, and everything related to their use, as well as the posts of the surrounding courtyard with their bases, tent pegs, and ropes. Moses and Aaron and his sons were to camp to the east of the tabernacle, toward the sunrise, in front of the tent of meeting. They were responsible for the care of the sanctuary on behalf of the Israelites. Anyone else who approached the sanctuary was to be put to death. The total number of Levites counted at the Lord's command by Moses and Aaron according to their clans, including every male a month old or more, was 22,000. The Lord said to Moses, Count all the firstborn Israelite male who are one month old or more and make a list of their names. Take the Levites for me in place of all the firstborn of the Israelites and the livestock of the Levites in place of all the firstborn of the livestock of the Israelites. I am the Lord. So Moses counted all the firstborn of the Israelites as the Lord commanded him. The total number of firstborn males a month old or more listed by name was 22,273. The Lord also said to Moses, Take the Levites in place of all the firstborn of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites in place of their livestock. The Levites are to be mine. I am the Lord. To redeem the 273 firstborn Israelites who exceed the number of the Levites, collect five shekels for each one, according to the sanctuary shekel, which weighs 20 geras. Give the money for the redemption of the additional Israelites to Aaron and his sons. So Moses collected the redemption money from those who exceeded the number redeemed by the Levites. From the firstborn of the Israelites, he collected silver weighing 1,365 shekels, according to the sanctuary shekel. Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and his sons, as he was commanded by the word of the Lord. We're going to stop our reading here for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please come back next time so we can continue in the book of Numbers. I pray to see you then. Many blessings to you. Bye.